Bob Gaylor, Chief Master of the Air Force Number 5. I uh, joined AFSA in 1976. I became a life member, so whatever number of years that is, a long time. I think what I've learned over the years is that a single voice in the woods is just that. <laughs> you can uh, talk as loud as you want, no one may hear you. I think it's a concerted effort. I think it's a bringing together voices of, with the same interests and the same goals. And so it just becomes a much louder voice. And the louder the voice, the more someone is apt to hear you. So I think uh, uh, we come together and we discuss the issues. We reach a consensus. We share it with uh, AFSA, uh, the appropriate people in AFSA. And they then take it to the listener the congressman, Department of Defense, and they share. And that person may ask, well, how many people believe this? And if you, your answer is two, <laughs> but if you say uh, uh, 20,000, it's a much different response. So I think, and then, you know, the, the side benefit is the fraternal side of it. The, the friendship, the camaraderie, the sharing of of affection uh, for one another. There are a lot of hugs go on at conventions because we are people united with the same interests. AFSA provides the format, the horse to ride, if you will. And so to me, that's the benefit of AFSA.